Oh yeah, it's all coming together. Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron and for today's video we're headed to the world of Last Epoch. It would appear that EHG is giving us a glimpse into the future with skill buffs that are coming on update 114. So if you're still playing Last Epoch, if maybe you're looking for your next skill to play, it might be in this video. Should be fairly short and straightforward. Let's just jump right into it. Hello travelers, in patch 112 we introduced a fix which corrected an issue with conditional damage bonuses we're applying incorrectly. This fix had some unintended consequences which heavily impacted specific builds in ways players could not have anticipated. To correct this, we're buffing these skills or effects to restore the power they had before this fix. Normally, we only provide advanced notice for nerfs to overperforming skills. However, we understand these nerfs have been a bit of a pain point for many players, so we wanted to let you know buffs are coming. We are currently planning for these changes to go out next week's planned 114, and we're including the changes below for early review. Now, before we read any of this, before you look at any of it, it is not live yet. This is what's coming. It's not right now. It's coming. All right, you got it. Up and coming balance changes. Earthquake. I don't want to read all this. Earthquake is going back to being just a massive damage dealer, which is great. Check this out. Earthquake now has a damage effectiveness from 350 to 700. Earthquake's aftershocks now have damage effectiveness from 100 to 200. It's basically going to double. At bare minimum, double your damage for Earthquake. But with multiplicative damage, it'll it'll be even more than that. So Earthquake, massive buff coming. Witchfire, base damage increase from 300 Necrotic and 300 Fire to 600 and 600. Uh, Domain now grants Witchfire 2% more damage from 1 and 4% more damage to Dam Chance from 3. And Damned Overload is getting a buff. Witch fire at bare minimum, 100% buff. I like witch fire. Up and coming skill and passive tree fixes. Disintegrate. Lusomancer stack falling off earlier. That'll be fixed. Ghost flame fixed a bug where ghost flame would display incorrect active and inactive tags on the panel. Forge guard fixed a bug where master of arms did not grant the plus two to strength with two handed weapon. Uh, when you're using a spear, that is huge for the people that are out there using spears. Fury Leap, updated VFX if you change it to cold. Werebear's Roar, now uses the same text about cooldown recovery as Warcry. Swarm Blade Form, Locust Master no longer mentions it buffs Locust. That was functionality, that functionality was removed. Earthquake, Snow Crash now properly mentions it consumes mana rather than adds the mana cost. Wolf's How now correctly mentions in the description how much heals you and allies. Gathering Storm, Thunderous Strikes, Typo Fix, Shield Rush, Desync Charge now properly states it removes the Traversal stack tag. Dark Regression, Increased Mana Cost now properly shows as a downside. EG is not messing around for this cycle too. They are just continue to improve the game. Man, reading through all this, it is, it's, it's a bright future. I feel very optimistic about the future. Forge Guard Passives, Champion of the Forge Threshold bonus now more clearly states that it grants additional Critical Strike Multiplier while wielding a two-handed weapon. Fixed a missing Master of Arms description. Falconer, side by side now correctly says Falcon Strike. Remove the extra from your rending talons. Net Tinkerer's Combo now correctly says the effects can trigger once per two seconds. Lethal Mirage, Sundering Blows, Typo Fix, Mage Passives, we're almost done, Sun and Storms, Typo, Sorcery Passives, Clarified the Lost Knowledge Triggers on Direct Cast, Fix Spelling on both versions, and Summon Wraith, Echoes Inside, has its description updated. This is, again, great communication from EHG, but when you are looking at spells or you're looking at skills, Earthquake and Witchfire, massive bonuses are coming fairly easy fairly straightforward video is there something that you want ehd to do if there is a skill you're using or something that you need buff i'm kind of have an open forum in my comment section i will break it all down and i will submit it if i feel like there's some merit there so if there's a skill that you think needs love let me know in the comment section below and of course are you happy with this pre-communication 
giving us the heads up and are you happy with these changes? Let me know in the comment section. Please like, share, and subscribe if you think I've earned it. I will be live playing Golemancer on Air and Action RPG on Twitch. If you want to come back, I am back on my Necro Kick. Best way to support is Patreon. It's the first link in the description. And make sure you join the Discord. We're almost at 4,300 members. And we have a giveaway going right now for a free copy of Last Epoch. I'm done. Hopefully you're entertained or at least learn something. Aaron. Out.